Hey, I'm making some wet food for the dogs. I have some old chicken scraps in there along with some really small bones. Um, just a couple of fresh green beans and some carrot shavings that I uh, saved after I cleaned my carrots. Uh, the carrots that I was going to use, I still have those, but these are the, like the little dirty shavings that come off the carrots. And I think I have, let's see, peas, a couple of frozen peas in there. And then just the leftover yucky parts of the chicken that I was going to throw away. So I took all of this and I boiled it thoroughly to get off any um, seasonings that were on there. And I'm going to put it over here on my food processor and put it on top of the dog's dry food. That way this will be their, their little wet food and I don't have to buy any wet food to put on top of their dry food. So I have it on chop. There's pulse and chop. I'm going to put it on chop first. Okay, now pulse. And it sounds like that's ready. Unplug that, take it off of there. Wow, this actually smells amazing. And look at that. Got some nice wet food for the dogs. Got rid of those bones, all those bones have been ground up nicely. Check that out. Dogs are going to love that. And I didn't have to throw anything in the trash. Okay, this is just the cheap Petco brand dog food. The smaller dogs get one scoop. Charlie doesn't even get quite a scoop. This, this is a third of a cup. Charlie gets less than a third of a cup because he just is he's the smallest and he doesn't eat that much. Raven gets one cup. So I'm gonna give her three thirds here. This way they'll go ahead and eat their food up quickly instead of leaving it there to graze on all day long. I don't like that because that attracts ants and things like that. And then Raven always eats up her food and then goes to eat up Charlie and Molly's food. This will help them eat it quickly. I have a little bit of water here. I'm just gonna put just a little bit in there, stretch it out a little bit more, make it easier to spoon onto their food. Wow, this is, this is pretty nice. Do, do a little bit more. This is probably about one and a half tablespoons worth of water. It's definitely the consistency of dark food. It actually smells amazing. Look at that. So I'm going to give Charlie a nice heaping teaspoon. I'm going to give Molly a nice teaspoon. Okay. Got a little bit of my countertop here. Let's get that off of there. And I'm going to give Raven probably a couple of teaspoons. That's what's one heaping teaspoon. And then another teaspoon. Okay. I mean, you could actually eat this if you had no teeth. <laughs> Just stir that up in there like that. I love using that food processor to make wet food for the dogs. Today is the first time I've ever done it. And I'm glad I did it. 
I'm going to put just a little bit more water in here, make a little gravy with that wet food. Okay. And here's what we have here. This one's going to be for Molly. Actually, I should have put Molly's food inside of on a, on a saucer. She doesn't like to eat out of a bowl. This is Charlie's. A little chihuahua. And then my lab waiting, Raven. Okay. Miss Greedy Girl. I'm going to switch Molly's food to a saucer. This is an old, chipped up, beat up saucer that I use from time to time to feed the dogs on. I'm happy to be able to do this because this eliminates waste. Even the bones, the little bitty small bones that were on that little piece of chicken that I had. I didn't throw those away. I blended them up. Okay, now for the taste test. Okay, here we go. Uh, Charlie, come here, buddy. This is for you. Here, little dude. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's go to Raven here. Ravy baby, come here, sweet girl. This is for you, sweetie. And let's put Molly over here. I have to feed them in separate places so they don't steal each other's food. Oh, yeah. Is that good, Molly? Poo poo. Molly, is that good? Oh, yeah, she loves that. Charlie's the finicky one, and look, he's doing a great job on his food. You like that little dude? Is it good? Is it good, little dude? You like that? And of course, Raven, AKA Greedy Girl. You like that sweet girl? So I have three happy dogs, and none of the food went to waste. And here's what I have left. I could probably scrape that up and come up with eh, almost a teaspoon. And this is a KitchenAid uh, food processor. It's a pretty good one, too. All right.